Good morning. You're watching FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. We're at the Dixie Group's headquarters in Dalton, and I'm here with T.M. Knuckles, the president of the residential division, and with Jared Coffin, the vice president of product for carpet, and with Jamin Stepp, the vice president of hard surface. You guys doing okay? Doing great, Kim. Thanks for visiting with us. Yeah, it's good to be with you. I wanted to spend this time with you and talk about what's going on new with the Dixie Group as far as a product perspective with no uh, early season one shows. Um, this is the best way to do this. So let's talk about the business first, Tim, if you would. Tell us uh, a little bit about uh, the, how the Dixie Group's been doing. Well, certainly last year was an interesting year with COVID and the second quarter, uh, the downturn was so significant. Um, third quarter rebounded nicely, and then quite honestly, the fourth quarter was pretty amazing in terms of business conditions. Um, uh, very happy with how we finished the year. We built a lot of momentum. October, November, and uh, December for a December was pretty exceptional. And fortunately, we've seen that continue here in the early part of 21. So business conditions are very good, both for carpet uh, and for hard surfaces. So it's an exciting time for us. You know, we featured Dixie last year. You were 100 years old, and it's got a rich heritage. And, um, you know, I remember talking to Dan Frierson at the end of the third quarter, you guys had turned the corner and, you know, we're making some, some, you know, profits. So that's all good news, right? It's great news. And third quarter was a good quarter for us. We were profitable as a company. Fourth quarter earnings are going to be released in a couple of weeks. And I, you and I interviewed recently, you brought in some new HR assets that are going to help you take you to the next level, right? Well, we have added some talent to the organization. Uh, Pommy Bueller, who you interviewed recently uh, uh, on uh, FloorDaily.net, and uh, Lynn Andolino, who is going to be coming in and leading our wool and decorative segment business. So uh, very excited to have them on board with us. All right. Well, let's get right into what's going on in the carpet uh, business. Jared, tell, tell us a little bit about what's going on with your new products. Right, so sure. So, uh, you know, three brands, obviously, the Dixie Home brand, uh, first and foremost, from an affordable fashion standpoint. Uh, we've really been launching a lot of the Envision 6.6 products over the last couple of years. It's been a great platform for us. Uh, what we've done with the 2021 introductions is just kind of expanded that fiber into different categories. We've added some high luster uh, accent yarns into there. We've, we've added a space dye uh, fleck product into that line. So it's been a, a great kind of foundation for us to build from. Started in 2018, um, and the expansion into products this year has been wonderful. Um, stepped up into some higher price points, done some more dramatic patterns uh, for Dixie Home. Uh, so that, that Vision 6.6 category, um, certainly coming out of Dixie Home has been a strong introduction for us this year. So I know you're in the wool business. I know you still continue to support uh, the Stainmaster brand name. And then you've got your own 6.6 brand, this Envision brand. Um, so how many new products do you have this year? So in total, it's probably 45 new products uh, across all, all categories. And, and to your point, so we do a little bit of polyester business in Dixie Home. Uh, Dixie Home, you know, the core of it is nylon, both Envision 6.6 and Stainmaster. In the Maslin line, the, the core, core category is nylon. Maslin has a nice little wool business as well, a decorative category, which, which TM mentioned will, will, will end, will come in and really step up our game in that category. And on the Fabrica side, you know, from a, from a product standpoint, you know, with a, with a commitment to quality and always kind of targeting the best in class product, that nylon line has a great reputation. We also do wool products in the Fabrica line. So, you know, from polyester up to, you know, hand tufted custom rugs, it is an expansive uh, assortment of products across the brands. A couple of things I'd like to point out. I mean, you're actually a big player in the wool market, aren't you? Uh, especially from a domestic production standpoint, we think we're one of the largest U.S. manufacturers of wool. Um, obviously, that category has become, you know, differentiated, and it is about uh, feeding into the rug business and doing custom fabricated rugs. So, you know, it is more from kind of a wool business into a decorative business. Uh, Len has a lot of experience here, and I think will help us kind of diversify and, and get more aggressive into that kind of hybrid broadloom rug fabricated uh, category. But, yeah, we're, we're proud of our wool business uh, and expect it to grow in the years to come. On the upper end uh, with the Fabrica and Maslin, you, you get into a lot of locations that you, you won't let us talk about, but I mean, there's places uh, on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. where they put your product in, right? Yeah, I mean, when you're selling one of the best products in the industry, you know, it has gone into some some fa fabulous residences and places internationally um, uh, that, that, you know, we're, we're very proud to have uh, installations like that. And, and really across across all the brands, we, we get, get into some very unique and fun different projects. And you've got new displays this year. We've done new new fixtures uh, that kind of came out the second half of last year. So this is what we're standing in front of here, the Maslin fixture. Fabrica was also updated this year. So, you know, not only product but from a merchandising perspective, always trying to kind of, you know, up, up the game and, you know, make those presentations on retail showrooms look really good. 
And one last comment, your average net sale for carpets probably about three or four times the industry, right? It is. I think from, you know, uh, Dixie Home is at least probably two times the industry, if not more than that. And then Maslin steps up from there and then Fabrica up even higher. So, yeah, we're proud to do nice high-end, high-quality products. All right, Jamin, let's talk about hard surface. And uh, it's the fast, fastest growing category. Tell us what's going on with you guys there. I get, you got some made in the USA, don't you? We do, we do, and that's one of the things I want to touch on is obviously for this year we've got 70 new products we're launching in hard surfaces, wow. uh, 56 in um, the TrueCore brand, and then 14 hardwood products that we'll get, on, get to here in just a little bit. But, yes, domestically we are going to source a new product collection uh, made here in northwest Georgia. Uh, it'll be more of a multifamily entry-level type product category uh, to get us started there, but there'll be eight SKUs in that program all in SPC construction, um, seven by 48 inch planks. So we're excited about that. And then we're also excited about the new introductions to the existing programs that we've got. We've added 12 new SKUs to our Prime XL XXL collection, which is our wide body big plank product, uh, the longest, widest WPC in the market today at 10 inches by 84 inches. So we've got new SKUs going into that collection as well as our tile spinner uh, collection. We've got six new tile visuals, marble, some abstract tile patterns, uh, as well as some uh, what I call skinny tiles, six by 36s. So we got some unique looks going in there that'll round out that tile spinner display with 24 SKUs. Uh, and then we've got some uh, new additions to our Alpha collection, which was our very first collection, obviously named Alpha. But uh, we've got two new SKUs going into that collection that are seven by 60 in uh, four inch format, uh, separate from the seven by 48 that's been in there since the uh, since the collection started. So counting that, uh, those are all the new introductions for existing programs. Uh, and we're really excited about the, uh, besides the applause, which is the new uh, entry level that's domestically produced, uh, we're also intro introducing some innovative technology called TrueCore 3DP, which is an SPC platform with a enhanced digital print process to give you the visual. So it's a digital print on top of an SPC product that uh, we think is is very unique. Uh, one of the advantages is obviously in the in the PVC film world, uh, everybody that's played in this arena is generally between four and eight repeats on pattern before you see a plank that's similar, uh, depending on how it's shifted. Uh, with this 3DP process, we can have, it, it's not infinite, but uh, 30 plus different looks before you have a repeat. Uh, so in some rooms, you could actually install a medium sized room probably without having to use the same plank twice, if you will, the same visual. So that's one of the key things there. Plus the, uh, uh, just the finish and the look, um, it's a little bit different than what you get it's in the PVC film world. This is a more of a matte finish. It, it's similar to our Chateau collection and our Fabrica wood program, which is a, a very high end, very high end look. Uh, so we're excited about that. And lastly, it's, uh, it doesn't have a wear layer. It has a liquid glass type coating, and we talk about that in our POP and, and whatnot, and I won't go into detail there, but it, uh, it provides it with an AC5 rating, so it can go residential or up to heavy commercial. All right, so direct digital printing, and it, what price point? Is that on the upper end of it? Uh, it is on the upper end a little bit. It'll be just probably south of three bucks, and in, in the mid twos probably is where we'll take that product to market, but uh, uh, it's a, uh, like I said, there's a few folks out there with some stuff like that in the market, not a lot. Uh, but uh, I see this technology continuing to uh, to grow. Well, I know you had to take a little break, Jamin. You had a little uh, ticker ticker issues. Good to have you here. I'm not stressing you out, am I? Uh, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's got the LVT side of the business. You also have some wood, right? We do. We do. We've got an extensive collection of higher end wood products that we sell in the uh, Fabrica Wood program. Uh, we are adding 14 SKUs, as I mentioned earlier, to that program. And and one of the introductions is a. Uh, I call it a skinny plank, if you will. Everything seems to have gone to seven inch or wider, and we have a lot of seven and nine and a half inch wide products in the mix, but we're also seeing maybe a little turn in, in design and orientation to a, a four and three eighths or a narrow plank. So we've got a five skew collection there that we're introducing uh, in the program this year, and uh, we're introducing some additional nine and a half inch wide to go with our Chateau collection. Uh, so all told, 14 new SKUs. And, We'll have 40 in the display. We're also launching a new display feature, uh, feature display that is for the wood program. It's a three-tier tower, holds up to 45 SKUs, and, and we'll get it loaded up with 40 this year and have some room to grow next year. All right, so you, you're in the fastest growing category. Are you happy with the uh, results so far in the past six months or so? Extremely, extremely. We, uh, we all kind of hit the panic button when COVID hit, as TM said last year, and we didn't know what would happen. So. Um, our hard service business uh, continued to exponentially grow this this past year, and we've had a great January and off to a good start in February. So, 
All right, TM, you think this uh, momentum we're seeing as far as consumers spending money in housing, is that going to continue into this next year? Kemp, I really believe it is. I think the consumer today is, is looking for a couple things. One, they want to be safe and secure in their home. They're spending more time at home. They want to make their home a sanctuary. They're spending money on it. They're replacing flooring. They're doing a lot of uh, different projects around their home, but flooring is certainly going to be part of that. And I think that's where a lot of our growth is coming from. So, Tim, did we cover everything? Is there anything else you want to add? No, I appreciate it, Kemp. Look, I think you can tell we're having a, a significant product uh, launch this year, new introductions. We're investing in our business, both in product and in people, as we talked about earlier. One of the key things is, I think, about our business uh, is – you know, diversification. We are diversifying our, our, our business. Our heart service programs are growing as a percent of our business are growing, you know, significantly. Uh, we're also diversifying on the soft surface side, as Jared mentioned. Uh, we're going to refocus on wool with Lynn Andolino coming on board. Uh, there's a lot of growth opportunity there. And certainly on the nylon side, we've been a stain master supporter, proudly a stain master supporter for a long, long time. We've got to diversify our business, and that's where the Envision 6.6 brand comes in, and we're having a lot of success with it, so I see that continuing. Um, one last technology I would like to highlight is Technique. That's our latest tufting technology. Um, we can make beautiful patterns. The yarn placement is very precise. These are almost woven looking visuals that we can create with both nylon and wool. So really excited to get those out in Maslin and Fabrica. Yeah, that's the newest technology in tufting by Card Monroe. So I know you guys are, are I bought several machines there. All right, gentlemen, thanks for giving me an update on what's going on with the Dixie Group in 2021. Again, been talking to T.M. Knuckles, the president of Dixie's residential business, Jamin Stepp, the vice president of Hard Surface, and with Jared Coffin, the vice president of product for Carpet. And you've been watching FloorDaily.net.